You hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this channel ad free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is a little unbagging, unboxing from London Penco. There was a sale on London Penco things a couple of weeks ago that I was alerted to just before one of our live streams. And uh, I decided to go ahead and take advantage of it. It was something like 40% off and I had not gotten anything from London Penco before. So that's, uh, that's pretty fun. Uh, all right, so this is a uh, Christopher 14 Bach double broad with a faceted cap, fun. Something orange, cellulose acetate. I don't know what Aaron. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll look that up when I when I do some uh, uh, some uh, uh, editing here. But some kind of something orange. So we'll see what that means. Here's the pen. You can see uh, airmail parvion, uh, which is this is from Canada, the great country of Canada. Our neighbor to the north comes in a nice little box. I appreciate that. I like some simple. Uh, packaging is a little loop down there, but then you use that little silica gel there. Delicious, delicious silica gel. Oh, a nice little, you know, polishing wiping cloth. And then here is the pen. So this is the Christopher 14, which is one of several models that um, that uh, London Pin Code does. And this one does have, as it said on the paper there, a faceted cap. You can see the facets there. They do make a full faceted pen, but I just went for the half facets because, man, look at this material. I, I saw this and I was immediately like, OK, well, I guess I have to get a pen and I think it has to be this one. Look at the like you can see the depth in this stuff. This, uh, this awesome cellulose acetate stuff here. Look at the you can see, I think the converter band just there. It kind of goes through. You can see how deep this is. You see different layers within this material. This is very cool. You can see like this one looks like it's kind of floating. So I get the. The glare off of it. <laughs> it's so shiny. It's hard to put on a camera. This down here is round. The body of the pen is round. And the cap of the pen, you can see, has these facets. Uh, one, two, three, uh, eight octagonal facets. You can see through a couple of windows here, kind of going through to the nib. I don't generally like when I can see the threads through the cap. That's one of my weird things uh, with translucent things. But I think this is pretty cool because it's kind of like you can see it but only in some places where the material is actually clear. You can see this sort of occludes it right here. That's that's neat. So let's get inside here. This is a cartridge converter uh, set up right here. And this is a Bach nib. I think this is a Bach double broad, which is essentially kind of a broad. It's not the it's not a very broad double broad uh, as compared to, say. This is a this is a pilot double broad. You see, it's not it's not nearly the same. It's pretty darn small. It's basically a broad. Uh, I have one or two of these other pilot uh, Bach double broads and they just kind of aren't double broad. But it is a nice platform for other things to be made out of it. Uh, and, uh, you know, it writes pretty well on its own. If you like a broad, that's kind of nice. We got a good pinch here. There's not a gutter or anything here below the threads. There is just a little bit of a blank area, but it is polished. So that's kind of nice like that. Uh, sometimes what I mean by a thread gutter is you'll have an, a cut in below the threads, but before the step here, which just kind of weakens the material. It gives it just a slot, which could break. I haven't had one have that happen, but you're sort of engineering a weakness in there, it seems like, when you do that. And so I like when there's not a gutter. This is just a, a straight bit after that. These little like hash mark looking things that are just built into this cellulose acetate are really pretty. How does this feel? Yeah, it feels good. I like this pinch. You can see the pinch there pretty well against the blue background here. Pretty darn nice. I'm digging that. Uh, this pen, I think, was about 200 bucks. Um, I forget the exact price and it's not there's not like a packing slip or whatever, but uh, you can find this on the Lin London Pen Co site where I bought this. OK, so just a regular converter there. You see the nib unit in here. We take the nib unit out. Probably, I'm sure it unscrews. Yeah, it does. Good. Good, good, good. So if you have a Bach nib that you like, they also make things with Yovo nibs, but this one just happened to be uh, tapped for Bach, and that's totally fine. Uh, I have some Bach nibs that I like, although they're not really my preference. Once they get tuned up, they can be very nice. So 
There we go. All right. Very cool. Well, I'm really looking forward to uh, getting some miles in this pen because it feels like it's going to be a very nice one. Plenty of threads there. I suppose you could eyedropper this. I'm not going to. It might look interesting. I'm not sure how cellulose acetate works with eyedropping. If you've ever eyedroppered one of these before, if you have some knowledge of this type of material, do drop it in the comments there uh, about the eyedropping ability of it. I don't want it to soak up ink is the only thing, but it would be neat if you can see like ink sloshing through these little clear spots. I think that would look pretty rad. So let me know in the comments. I don't, I don't know that I will, but it's, it's a little tempting at least. Man, that's good looking. Very cool. So um, yeah, seems very nicely made. The fit and finish are quite nice. I like the transition from the round barrel up to the uh, the flat sides. You can see there is a little bit of a bump there up to the flat side, but it's very, very slight. Uh, that's actually on this side. This one's pretty much flat across. This is just a little bump out here because that's how threads work when you have a spiral. I'm not worried about that at all, but this side is like nice and flat. Does it roll away? doesn't really roll away. My desk is uneven. You've seen me put down round pens before and they just roll, but now this one hits that flat side and just kind of stops. Very nice. This is beautiful. And I'm glad that I, uh, I was alerted to the sale. So, uh, thanks Carol. I think it was Carol that alerted me to this and, uh, you know, I'll see y'all in another video. Check out London Penco. Uh, they are moving, and so they were having a cool sale, but it looks like they're making some nice pens up there in Canada. And also, the shipping from Canada was not bad. I want to say it was like $10 or something of that nature, so not too bad. It did take uh, it did take a little bit of time, but it's a whole different country, so yeah, that's cool. No worries. I got time. So there you go. That's the uh, Christopher 14 Bach Double Broad with a faceted cap in something orange uh, cellulose acetate. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you all in another video. Peace out.